so friends in our today's topic we are going to cover grouping nodes in 6 by 8 9 by 8 and 12 by 8 in simple words in compound time signature so you can see when grouping nodes in 6 by 8 9 by 8 and 12 by 8 think in dotted crotchet beat groupings to make the music easy to read here are a few examples to show the difference between good and bad groupings so in this example you can read go through it and in simple way they're showing the key how you can make it and what is a bad way and what is a good way to make the groupings for this uh, compound time signature so as you can see in the first one six by eight this is a dotted crotchet note which is the main beat which we have already learned in the previous topic so this is the way you have to make it you can see this is square this means that you cover the one uh, main beat first and then you move the other main beat so if you see here if you see in this beat they are covering one crotchet and one quaver beat that makes one and a half beat which is a main beat and this is beamed with the other quaver beat which was wrong so we are supposed to complete this one first and then move to the next one so that's why this is wrong so this is all they have shown how the other groupings you can do in 6 by 8 and uh, as you move further you can see there's a you can see a semi quavers beam together now semi quavers can be beamed together like this in 6 by 8 time signature and they're showing different groupings of quavers beam together in 6 by 8 and there if you go further they are showing that how in the whole note if you're whole bar if you're showing how you can write that six by eight times signature or the note how you can put the values of it okay so if you have a whole note empty oh sorry whole bar empty then you can if and you're going to put a one note then you can put this note in six by eight twelve by eight and nine by eight okay so let's move further in the exercises so we can understand in a groupings in a better way so let's move to the next page so this is our next page in this one they have given look at the following music add bar lines to agree with the time signature so now we have to check the time signature and put the bar according to the time signature you can give in the first example given here okay and in your mind please remember the compound and the uh, time signature in your mind so let's move on to the first exercise and you can see it's given here six by eight right so six by eight means that it means we should they should have two dotted crotchet beat as a main beat in one bar that means the three quaver beats so let's see this is one two three and one two three so we can put our first bar line here next one two three one two three it's easy completed one two three one two three it's n bar okay now next we move this is nine by eight that means we need three dotted crotchet beat here that means we need nine quaver beats you can see this is here nine quaver beats we need so this is one two three is done one is here three quaver beats this is three quaver that means the bar line comes here okay next again one two three quavers now this makes c this is two quaver plus two plus one this is we have how many quaver we have six quavers here and there are three quavers here so this means the bar line come here then again one two three one two three one two three and here and this is n bar okay let's move further as we move further next we have again nine by eight that again we mean three dotted crotchet beat here okay so this is now see this makes one quaver second third quaver one two three these six make three quaver so put a line here see this is for you i'll show you these two make one quaver this is one quaver three quaver now these two make one quaver these two make one quaver and these two make one quaver so that makes three so we put a line here now this again three three and three i put a bar line here move forward this is six six semi quaver semi quaver and finish here okay next one is 12 by 8 that means we need four dotted crotchet beat here as a main beat okay so let's check this is one crotchet beat this complete one again this is second this is third and this is fourth so we bar put a bar line here this is one together this is two together three and four this is one this is two this is three and this is four okay let's move to the last last exercise of this one that is six by eight that means again we need two crotchet beat 
main beats in this bar so this is one and this is two so we put a bar line here this is one this is two now you can see this is quaver plus this one and this is two because this one means your half plus your one fourth this is your one fourth and this is your half these one fourth means one half so you got one quaver second quaver third quaver okay and this is you have three quavers yes and the bar line same way here so i hope you understood it let's move to the next page now in the next page you can see they're asking the following music contains mistake in the grouping of notes write it out correctly so we have to check the groupings and write them again over here okay so first example half example given here let's continue this one so you can see the time signature is nine by eight that means we need three dotted crotchet beat as main in every bar okay and when you make the groupings in it there should be three quaver beats all together okay so if you see they have given till the first bar we have to do the second bar so you can see this is one quaver two quaver three quaver so we can put them together we don't need to write them separately we can write them together okay so this we have to come down okay now next one you can see this is a crotchet beat this is a crotchet beat so you can write crotchet beat as it is and then the quaver beat so these two we don't need to change they are right they're fine last one is also okay we don't need to change them they are same okay let's put the bar line let's move further next one you can see if you continue let's put the treble clef first then time signature now now you can see this is tied together it's unnecessary tie we can make this as a crotchet beat so let's make it as a crotchet beat and then we can write this note separately as a quaver beat then this is fine all let's just follow this this is okay they don't need any changes Put a bar line here again see they again written separately they need to be beamed together because they are quaver beats and they have to be beamed together okay next one this one you can follow this is fine because this is completing and we finish the end bar okay now let's move further to the next exercise on next one you can see this is six by eight that means we need main beat as two dotted crotchet okay so if we let's put the bar uh, clef first so we put the treble clef time signature six by eight now you can see in six by eight we need this is as a main beat and if you have to beam together we need a beaming of three quavers together this should be the grouping of it okay so you can see this is two and this is four so this is wrong we can write three separate and three separately so we have to make them separate these three separate and these three separate so we make these three and we can make these three okay then put a bar line let's make the bar line first okay now next you can see again they all six set together we cannot put them together because this is the main beats and we have to make a grouping like this so in one group there should be these three quavers together so again we separate them and we make three separate and then three separate as we done in the first bar Here you can see them separate again same we cannot do that not in twos they have to be in threes together okay so this one will go upwards 
and this one will come down okay in the last one these three needs to be together because they are grouping together so we put them together and these two are fine they are separate they are completing one feet okay let's move to the last two exercise last two now next you can see again it's six by eight that means again we need two dotted crochet bead in each bar now you can see put a treble clef then time signature sorry this is key signature then the time signature let's put the bar lines first so it's easier for us to make it now you can see in this one how will you separate that means we need the grouping of as i told you three quiver of beads should be beamed uh, together if we have to so you can see this is our half plus one fourth this is our one fourth and this is our half so these two makes one half that means we need this in the first grouping and then these two in the second grouping okay so let's make it like this so this is one note this is our second note this is third note so let's make them beam them together first right make it this you make it and dot it so that's how we make it and this one will come separately and this will come a separate note okay that's how you're gonna do it next same thing is the same notes repeating here so we do the same thing here again only the notes are changing everything is same then you make this one separately okay here these two are fine and this is the grouping see this is grouping we have done it here so this is you don't need to change we don't need to change this one also and in this last one same thing again as we done the breakup here same breakup we have to do here as well so here notes here is the note and there okay that's how we done it now the lesson last exercise then again six by eight so we go same we need these two as main beat let's put the clef first then the key signature and then the time signature okay now you can see this is one crochet and then we to complete this first we need one quiver beat here so we're gonna make this crochet beat first and then we need one quiver beat separate then we can beam these three together Put up bar lines first. Okay, now you can see this is tie here, so we can just make as a dotted crochet. This is unnecessary. Just put a dotted completed. Now these two can we tie? So we need to have we can have only one crochet bead here, and this as a quiver bead here. Okay next again same thing as the first bar so we write this one and then we need one separate quiver beat then need to beam all these three together and the last again we tie together this one is unnecessary so we can put one crochet dotted crochet and then here again see now this is again tied together so we can have one dotted crochet here because these two ties together makes one dotted crochet value okay so this is here we finish our this topic i hope you like this topic 
and if you have any question regards to this please let me know and sometimes i do mistakes in my videos i'm sorry for that it happens because while making the videos a lot of things you have to take care so please forgive me for that and just keep helping me out okay now i'll see you in the next topic till then thank you